What is up everyone? My name is Ryan. I live in Cambodia and I make videos so I can show you how Gucci Cambodia is. You got to keep up with the slang. You don't want to be chuggy. Today I bring you tales from a Cambodian balcony. A year ago we moved into this apartment and I started documenting the view from our balcony. A lot has happened in the past year. We've witnessed a lot of fun things. Our view has completely transformed and it's all in this video, a full year documented. Let's get started right away. I've got a lot to show you and I promise it will be both lit and fire. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 Delicious iced coffee from Boda Coffee, my favorite iced coffee source in Phnom Penh. In Cambodia, the rainy season usually lasts from May till November. So the first month in our apartment had a lot of rainy evenings. Also at that time, there were a lot of COVID restrictions, so people weren't socializing. There really wasn't much action in the field that our balcony overlooked. But then suddenly, COVID restrictions were lifted, and in the matter of a couple of days, a patonk court was built. Patonk is a popular game in Cambodia. It's basically the French version of bocce ball, if you know what that is. It's kind of like horseshoes or curling, but you throw metal balls. After that, day and night, there would be locals playing patonk, as illustrated in this beautiful time lapse. <laughs> Oh, but you can't be checking cameras. This is a long ass lens. Like maybe. Well, look at that gravel. That gravel was not there the other day. No. And now it's there because they're going to build another one. Yes, there was so much patonk action that they did decide to build another patonk court. Well, look at that. Another beautiful timeline. No, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You I'm sorry. Stripper pulling on I'm it. sorry. New bocce ball court, all done now. It's smaller than the last one, a little bit narrower. Um, and I haven't seen them play on it yet, so. This guy looks like he's gonna fall to his death. He's cleaning the pool with one arm, it seems. He's probably smoking a cigarette. Of course he's not <laughs> smoking a cigarette, he's on a smartphone. We slowly figured out that the whole area outside of the balcony was basically the country's Ministry of Education. There's something happening at the school. Definitely something's going on. I'm hoping the kids are going back to school just to, I don't know, get the sounds of children playing in a field uh, throughout my work day. Wouldn't be a bad thing, maybe. This guy has been cutting this grass all day. Earlier he just had like a little weed whacker strimmer. He did all that patch with just the weed whacker and then now I don't know where this lawnmower came from but it's making his job a hell of a lot easier. This guy here is dropping off dry grass pulling in on the motorcycle because they, the they have started raking this up after cutting it all down. You'd rather do this guy's job? That guy was loving it driving across there like insane. Yeah, walls. but there's a guy up in this tree cutting bits of it down with the machete, but he's way up there. I mean, there's a the person down floor, there. So he must be on the fifth floor at least. It seemed as though the rainy season was coming to an end and everyone was out doing a little landscaping. And then, sports made their triumphant return to Cambodia. There's the happening spot. 
problem with our smell is the always try to walk it in. The sports field was being used almost every night. This was absolutely the golden era for the field. It's not a weirdo. Kids playing on the field. I don't know why that's a weirdo thing. Watch this kid. Ooh, nice boot. But the rainy season wasn't done with Cambodia yet, so this field took a beating. People would play in the rain and really tear up the grass. These guys are up to something today. They got two truckloads of sand that they're dumping out there. There's something happening here. And what it is, it's not exactly clear. So the sand has made its way to the field. I mean, for the past two or three days, they've been just taking wheelbarrows of it making these little piles. I think they're just patching up the field. It's got this little kid out here helping them work. It seems like a terrible way to do it because it's taking forever and I don't know. I don't know what a better option is, I guess, but actually he's got a motorbike now to, t to help him. So before he was just, he had a wheelbarrow, but I'm, I'm assuming that they're re-grassing, they're reseeding the, the grass and just patching it up. Pretty nice day in Phnom Penh. And what's going on over here? Oh, window cleaner surprised me. Can't wait for them to do this window here. I'll sit out on this couch and all naked and be like, hey boys, what's crack a lacking? Check out the hustle on these clouds. This is not trick photography, that's how fast they're moving. Beautiful night. Shout out to November. Begun to November, oh, begun to November. What? It's the last day of November. Shout out to December coming up soon. You know, begun till December, I'll begun till December. I'll be my girl, I'll be gone till December. What are they doing to the field? They got a bunch of sand and they're all pushing it out there. I don't know. I don't think groundskeeper people are very good here, to be honest with you. It's the next day, they managed to cover this thing in dirt. Right now they're flattening it out and watering it and presumably planting new seeds. I estimate that in seven days we will see grass. Well, this is about a week later, we've got some grass growing. They've only ever watered this green circular area, which is kind of silly. But does I don't know. Maybe they know what they're doing. What the heck are these guys doing? You see all that smoky haze? This guy down here was spraying. Who knows what it was? Some kind of poison, I think. Some kind of fumigation. So they dug some like little trenches in the field. You see those blue lines there? That's those pipes. They put pipes in the trenches. I guess like an irrigation system, maybe? Well, I don't know how much you can get from this video, but it's a very smoggy day today. AQI reading, We're sitting at 178 today, which is actually the highest I think I've seen it since I've been here, so. What in the hell have they done? I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm thinking some kind of irrigation system, but I don't know. I think it's time we talk about a very serious issue. You see, Ryan is suffering from what we call building denial. He's refusing to believe that they'll construct a building on one of the only playing fields in the city. I just wanted to warn you guys because this is gonna get a little bit sad. It's a very severe case of building denial. And if you are squeamish, you might wanna just skip ahead a little bit. Well, it's a new day. And that's happening. I'm thinking it's some kind of irrigation thing, but I don't really know. I, th I think it's because uh, it, the holes all have water in them. They put sand in it, and then they put these rocks in it. Check out this lady over here. She's throwing like one rock in at a time. So this morning they're putting concrete on top of the rocks. Pouring concrete, mixing it with sand and water. 
really don't know. That's weird, isn't it? Oh, well, should you don't believe in dragons? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, so today we've got some graining has been put into these holes. Yeah, I don't know. Some kind of rebar cross thing. I don't know. I don't know. Because it seems to be sticking out of the holes. Like, is this going to be a playing field? Is it... Are they going to cover that up? I don't know. The mystery continues. Well, I think we can safely say this is not going to be a sports field when whatever they're doing gets finished. Which kind of sucks, but I guess we'll see. Maybe it'll be uh, McDonald's. See that? Lightning. We haven't had rain in like a, geez, I don't know, a month? I think he's trying to get fruit down from the tree. He's got a pole with a water bottle that's cut out. And he's trying to like knock it out into the bottle. He just knocked the piece down. And he's slowly putting it down onto the ground. Why would he do that in the middle of this? Somebody has a master who's going, go get me fruit. Woo! Lots of work going on in the field today. So they've connected all those uh, square holes. It looks to me like a building is going up. So that's gonna be, it's gonna take a while to do. It's gonna be a little bit noisy probably. Sarah and I are really hoping it's gonna be a water park, but Probably not. They also dug more holes over there behind that tree. So a building there, a building there, and a building there. That's my guess with some, a little bit of green space in between the two. It's a shame because there's just no green spaces like sports fields. There's very few and this was one of them. We had a great view of it. But all that is gone. Lots of cementing going on. Watch these guys carry this pole, this is great. I don't know why they do it like this. Through the legs. <laughs> they look like a bunch of penguins. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up so much, but I love that. Construction update. You can see the bricks with the rebar sticking out of it, and if you look way over there, there's a guy welding plates to the end of these giant big long poles. And what I think is going to happen is they're going to pull those up and put them over that the rebar and uh, fasten them into place there. We were actually out on vacation for four or five days, came back in the whole field. All the dirt piles that were here have been smoothed out. Everything's covered in dirt, and of course, everything got dirty on our balcony while we were gone. And our aircon stopped working, probably clogged up with dirt. But, uh, yeah, they made some progress, and they brought these giant poles in and started hanging. Look at this guy, he's sliding down it. How'd he get up there? Did he shimmy his way up there? Suppose that's that noise is that guy trying to hammer that into place or knock it over so it lines up with the bolts that stick up. I don't know, I can't really see. Kind of lively out there tonight. Uh, just a quick update. I'm putting the walls up on this thing. The volleyball net is set up on the field. Kids running around. These people, all these people here, they are essentially kind of living here as they construct this stuff. So they're down in the, those trees a little bit, but also over there, a bit of living going on over there too. Kind of an interesting thing how they, people who work on the site, but that they generally will just live here on the site and with kids. Maybe the kids are just visiting, I don't know. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> That's fun. It's funny, these guys getting lifted up. Uh, it reminds me of like some kind of fair ride. Done a lot today. Got all these poles up here. And this has been fully cemented today. It was about half them earlier. 
We're mixing cement right there and then shipping it over, spreading it out. Finally here, put a halt on the construction, but also I've got my laundry a little bit too, but that should be okay. It's been really hot lately, and I think this rainfall and the one we had yesterday and the day before, uh, just a little bit on those days, but I think it's really going to help cool the country down a little bit, hopefully clean it up a little bit because it's been kind of dusty. And just a few hours later, look at the field, it is flooded right up. That's just a rainfall, that's one rainfall. And the rainy season hasn't even really started yet. Jeez. Well, the sun is coming down in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and we've got some progress on this building. All the side beams went up, and the A-frame roof went up, but we got all these little slats along the roof. So basically what they'll probably be doing is putting those blue strips of tin on that roof, I think, I'm guessing. Which sucks because it's gonna be loud when it rains. You still holding out for that water park? Mm -hmm. it's so sad we lost our field. Getting lively out there right now. It is Kamai New Year. Happy New Year everyone. A little party going on down there. Some singing. Karaoke. Balloons. Can't really tell what exactly is happening but it's nice to hear it. Get off the construction site. This is one of the coolest temperatures we've had in Phnom Penh in a long time. The rain has come and it's cooled down the city a lot. And we're making a lot of progress putting up the walls on this big building here. I bet you the workers are relieved to get a little bit of cool weather. It's been brutally hot. Well, the roof is going up today, and this is how they're doing it. They got two long poles that they're using as a kind of ramp, and they got two guys on each side pulling a rope to pull it up. It's not a light little piece of uh, corrugated metal. There's a another side to it, so it's it's a little heavier than it looks. That's kind of in that sun. Just as a point of reference here for you, looking at around 43 degrees right now in the sun. These poor guys spend the whole day up there, take maybe two hours in the middle of the day off.
So they decided to build the ugliest building in the world right here next to us. Beauty of a night tonight. And just the way the clouds are. There's, so there's clouds on top, stretch of clear sky, and then clouds on the bottom. It looks like mountains almost. Crazy out there. Oh man, they're too quick. You can see them on that water tower. One sitting there. So the story is there's a guy who owns these and uh, he lets them out. I don't know how often, but every once in a while you're sitting out here and you just see like 12 or so hornbills fly by. Actually, I, we, didn't they count like 40 once? Mm -hmm. yeah, thanks to my sister for providing me with this thing. It's kind of cool to shoot through. Laying down some roof tiles on the big boy. It's been a long time since I've done an update of this building, but they haven't really gotten much done. We've been away for six weeks. They put all that up today, pretty much. We're gonna lift this up, take it over here and put it in place. Guy just gets right out there without looking. He backs up on that. No line holding on. Jay's awesome. You look at the power drill. It's not. It doesn't even have a battery. Power drill plugged in. It's just it's running that cable. It's just funny. This plus is another thing to trip on up there. Not long before this whole space just looks super ugly, and then it might just be time for us to get out of here. It was kind of sad to say goodbye to this view, this balcony where we had so many dinners and drinks and conversations, but I do feel the time was right. So we did in fact move and we sadly said goodbye to the balcony. I will remember you. In the course of a year, our view went from this to this, as big of a bummer as that is. Kids don't say bummer anymore. What do the cool kids say when something is not good? As RIP as that is, it was kind of cool to see the transformation, to see how they build a building like this and how the workers often do their job with the complete lack of safety gear in the intense heat. Well, that part's not cool. That part's more RIP. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're a newcomer, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you're notified of more dope videos like this one that you just absorbed through your eye holes into your smoother than average brain. Take care, comb your hair. I'm out. Yeah. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't wanna hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Flexing 700 in the